This is a picture of the Beatles, one of the most famous rock and roll groups of all time. If you're under 30 years old, ask your parents. This picture sits on Wikimedia. Now, if you've never heard of Wikimedia before, it's a repository of photographs and images that are in the public domain. So, does this mean that you can use this picture of the Beatles for print on demand? Hmm, that is the question that we'll explore in this video. Let's go. Now, normally, public domain pictures don't have any copyright restrictions. This means that you can use the photograph. In other words, make copies of the picture without getting permission. So an example of where you could use this photograph would be on your website, for example. Or you could use this in a newspaper article. Newspapers are what us cavemen used to read before Google News. So my point is, you could use this photograph as a photograph. The copyright on this picture has expired, which means that you can make copies of this photograph and use it as a photograph. Now let's jump over to print on demand. The Beatles are trademarked by Apple Corp. There's an active trademark sitting on Justia, and Justia is a trademark website. And this makes sense that it would be trademarked since the Beatles reportedly made over $65 million just a couple of years ago. Not bad for a group that broke up in 1970. So what does a trademark mean? A trademark means that you or I can't use the Beatles' likenesses to sell goods and services. So take a look at the goods and services that are included in the trademark. You can see here we're talking pictures, envelopes, sweaters, and socks, just to name a few. In other words, we can't use the Beatles likeness in a print-on-demand capacity. And this is true even if the picture itself is in the public domain. So in short, you can use the public domain photograph as a photograph, but you can't use the public domain photograph to sell print-on-demand merchandise because if the Beatles likeness is shown on the print-on-demand merchandise, the trademark would be violated. So let me ask you this, is there a gray area in all of this? The answer is yes. Now, I'm not suggesting that you do what I'm about to tell you here, but I am pointing out a legal gray area. You could make a case that you could sell the public domain photograph as a photograph. So an example of this would be printing copies of the Beatles' public domain photograph that was on Wikimedia and selling that photograph as a photograph, not on a t-shirt, not on a coffee mug, but as a physical photograph. You could sell it on eBay, for example, or Etsy. However, keep in mind that I'm not the authority on this, and ultimately Apple can choose to sue whomever they want. So I personally would not recommend selling photographs in general of trademark properties, but legally you could make the case that technically you're not breaking the law. So a good rule to follow is that if a public domain photograph contains a trademarked element, avoid that photograph in general. There's plenty of other public domain photographs you can use. The internet's full of them. So examples of public domain images that I recommend you avoid would be vintage advertisements that contain existing products that are trademarked, like Coca-Cola, for example. And another example would be public domain photographs of celebrities. So if you're selling these on your own website, then you personally run the risk that you could be sued by the celebrity or the trademark holder. And if you're selling on a site like Redbubble, all the trademark holder has to do is file a DMCA complaint and chances are very high that Redbubble would honor it as they don't want the headache and would just honor the strike. I hope you found this video helpful. Overall, public domain images are usually great to use for print on demand, but I wanted to highlight a couple examples where once in a while, extra research should be done. Now here's another video you'll enjoy about print on demand. Thanks a lot for watching.